Uh, yeah, congratulations to Virginia Tech. Um, I thought they played really well, and they, and they beat us pretty good. Um, certainly disappointed in the way we played. Uh, appreciate the support of the fans and everybody coming out today and filling it up. Uh, we, we needed to do a better job, and disappointed for that, and I'm sorry for that. Um, when you start the game on the first play with an interception, you hold them to a field goal, which is pretty good, and then you get back in the game, and then you, you throw another interception, and then they get the onside kick. We just never recovered from that. Um, disappointing. Defensively, I didn't think we tackled well. Um, gosh, we missed a lot of tackles, which is not how we've played these last five weeks. Um, so we got to take a look at why. Um, certainly, we had a couple guys banged up. We got some more banged up, but there's a quick turnaround in the next game. So we got to get it past us. But you know, when you go on, when you go on a, a couple game win streak, you, you got to be focused. You got to be on your details, and you have to execute at a high level. And if you don't, you can get humbled pretty quick. Um, I, th I thought we had a really good week of practice. I thought it was great preparation. I thought we were on our stuff. And we just didn't execute today at a very high level. So we need to play better. Um, we need to play better than we did today. And that's very evident, and we will. And, and we'll be back. Uh, but certainly very disappointing. But hats off to Virginia Tech. They did a nice job. Questions? Jeff, do you have to go back to Miss Tatling? Is this a situation where one Miss Tatling became two, two became three, three became four, just snowballed? Yeah, it looked like a lot of things snowballed today. Um, and we couldn't regroup and get in a rhythm of a game. And um, yeah, and it was at all levels. It was up front, it was a linebacker, it was a safety, um, which has not been us lately. So obviously we need to look at that as coaches and, and then we gotta go execute. We gotta play ball. And you can't let things snowball. You know, we, we, you gotta be able to handle it and step up and make the next play. So disappointing. Coach, I wanna hear more about Castellanos' interceptions, just describe to me where you think the error occurred. Um, was it the receiver uh, just taking it through the boat? Yeah, I got to really see it on tape. The first one was pretty clear in my head. It looks like it was a deep over, and the receiver undercut it, and he threw a little bit of a flat ball. But that's honestly just me looking from the sideline. I got to look at the tape and find it out, you know. Obviously, interceptions aren't always the quarterback's fault. Um, is it protection? Is it, is it a wide receiver not running the right route? Is it a bad throw? I got to see him, to be honest with you. But, but we can't turn the ball over. We can't do it. Um, you know, they stole three possessions very, very quickly in that game and, they, and just jumped on it. So, and credit to them. They picked us off twice and recovered the onside kick. But I got to look harder at the tape to see that. Coach Elijah Jones, was he healthy or? No, Elijah, Elijah's out. Um, we'll probably be out for the, for the remainder of the year. Um, and, and that's all I have for you on that right now. Snowball, how important this short week is to race this and so it doesn't snowball. Yeah. Well, 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 it's going to be erased very quickly. Uh, sometimes that's the beauty of playing on a short week. You have no other choice. And it is, it is on to Pittsburgh very fast. But at the same time, I mean, we, we got to watch this tape too um, because we didn't, we didn't play like we have for the last six weeks. And, then, and certainly we're not just going to not pay attention to what happened. We need to look at what happened because we got beat up today. So we'll fix that, and then you better flip it quick because tomorrow's, I mean, tomorrow we're in it, and then we're getting ready to get on a plane Wednesday, and we got to play another game, um, and they know that. Th this group will respond. We we've responded all year, and they'll do it again. Did you have on Kyron Jones? It seemed like he ran when you were looking pass, and he passed when you were looking run. Uh, yeah, it's kind of what we knew. I mean, they were going to run their quarterback. Um, I felt like we had chances to get him down, and certainly I think there's some stuff we could have done schematically to help too rich, but you know, not surprised. He's a big kid, he's a good runner. They got good backs, um, but, but we certainly, yeah, give him credit, give him credit. He, he played very well. We saw last week you guys pulled off some trickery with the safe punt, and uh, you know, they come out and do the early onside kick. I just wanna hear what you thought about what that did for sort of the momentum and the pull of that game. Yeah, it was huge, because they already had the, the two turnovers that stole two possessions, so Early, we never got a chance to get in a rhythm on offense, and our defense was on the field for too long. Um, we had a player right there. I mean, we just missed it. I mean, we had a player right to where he kicked it. Um, and again, hats off to them. They executed it, and we didn't. So, like, you, I, you get you both. Um, I know you were on the sideline, so maybe you don't have the best vantage point. But it seemed as if your receivers today were not creating space and giving Thomas a window to throw the ball in, and that was part of the problem, it seems. 
I got to go back and watch the film on that. My eyes aren't just fixated on the wideouts. Um, I, I just I never felt like we got to get into any rhythm on offense, um, which is self-inflicted. So that's our fault, right? Um, but I, I I can't honestly answer that question without watching the tape. Or along those lines, like Virginia Tech, you guys wanted to have long drives and you know keep running the ball over and over. Do you feel like it was predictable a little bit today offensively? No, I, again, I think in the, in the early parts of the game, I mean, when, when you have two takeaways in your first couple drives and then an onside kick, um, the score got out of hand pretty quickly. I, I don't think we ever got in a rhythm how we wanted to play the game. I mean, we threw the ball in the first play of the game. Um, no, it's just one of those strange games where we never got in rhythm on offense. Do, do, do you think it, it wears on the kids a little bit to play from behind as much as you guys do? Um, we haven't really been far behind in the last five weeks. I mean, so explain a little bit more. Well, you know, uh, you go back, you've been, you were down to 21-7 to, to Northern Illinois and to Virginia, and you were behind today, and it just seems like your, your second halves are usually a lot better than your first. Well, if you look at the last really a month and a half of football, you're, you're going back to week one. I mean, we're a different team now, so I, no, I, I don't want to make excuses. We got beat today. They played well. We had a lot of self-inflicted mistakes. I'm not searching for excuses in this one. We got beat. We, they, they beat us. Their players executed at a very high level. We made costly self-inflicted mistakes and did not play well. Um, I'm not searching for an excuse. We're part of that as coaches too. Um, but I, but I'm not. There's there's no excuses. Are you surprised to give up 600 total yards? Yeah, absolutely. With the way we've been playing, um, but watching how we played today, no, we didn't play well, and that's what happens. And we're on the field for too long, and we defended too many plays, and we missed too many tackles. And when you do those things, that's what happens. I know this idea of the path kind of generated a lot of excitement and popularity. Um, in the locker room, now that that's over, what would you say to BC fans, and uh, how do you guys, or how do the players kind of see the rest of the season uh, unfolding? We're, we're six and four. Um, we're bowl eligible. We got a chance to to win more games than they have around here in a really long time, uh, since the late 2000, or 2008, 2009, 2010, whatever it is. Um, we got we got three games left. We we appreciate the fans. They were awesome today, and they and they stuck in there. And they cheered when things were hard. And I appreciate that. And our players appreciate that. And we need more of that. We need excitement. They had every right to be excited heading into this game. But don't lose the excitement. We're 6-4. and four. We got two more regular season games left. We got a home game coming up at the end of the year. And then we have a bowl game. And we have a chance to win more games around here than they have in a long time. And then we got a chance to build off of that. If you really look at our team right now, we're still really young. I mean, there's like four players that will graduate that played today. Um, we need to get them better. We need to continue to improve. Um, we didn't play well. We didn't coach well. Uh, thank you for coming. Keep supporting us, and, and we're, we'll be back quickly on Thursday night.